This is Twit. So this, as you know, because uh, we've been flashing them around for a while, is the Samsung Galaxy mm -hmm. S8. Both of us have one. This is the S8 Plus, so the bigger one. Yeah, I like the bigger one. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful screen. It's a, you know, it's a... Uh, classic Samsung phone with all of the good and the bad that that uh, means. The biggest problem, as we've mentioned before, I have with it is that the fingerprint reader is just poorly placed. And it's not a as weird easy to placement. Use. You yeah. put a case on there, though, that helps because it gives you a little somewhere bit of a to, guide. Somewhere to yeah. touch. But this is something that's unique. Google's not doing this. In fact, the only other company that I know of uh, that's doing this right now is HP with a technology Microsoft calls Continuum. If you have an HP Elite Windows phone, you can dock it and turn it into a desktop computer. Mm -hmm. Remember Motorola did this with the Atrix some years That's ago. Right. Yeah. Big flop. Mm -hmm. but they, the, the idea keeps coming back that maybe this, since it's got all the desktop power, it's a powerful processor, lots of RAM, all your stuff is on it, maybe this should be your desktop computer and you just get somewhere and it's you dock it. It's certainly a, a, a real good example of how far mobile has come over the well, years. And maybe that's, that's a lot of it is just to prove yeah. I yeah, think that we is can do it. it. Now, here's problem number one that Jason and I both have with this. This is the Samsung DeX, $150 dock. It comes with a Type-C connector. It's not wireless charging. The Type-C connector actually connects the phone, keeps it charging while you're using it, but also connects the phone's uh, capability to this USB port, HDMI out. The DeX itself is powered. There's Ethernet and a couple of USB ports. Mm -hmm. And we've connected it up to our, our TV here. Yep. And this is what you get when you dock it. You get a desktop. Uh, it's a pretty nice looking desktop. I mean, you know, as far as desktops go. Is it like go, a Chromebook? I, I guess it kind of is. Here's the start button. And these are apps that are specifically DeX optimized. Some I've got installed, but it also has a, a special app store that you can find new apps for it, including mm -hmm. Samsung's own Office application. Well, that was, yeah, that was part of their announcement that they, they that Samsung had worked with Microsoft to optimize Microsoft's uh, Office for right. Android suite to work well with DeX. And if apps are optimized for DeX, then you get some of those advanced desktop features like, you know, not just uh, moving around the window, but expanding it to go full screen, that sort of stuff. If you brought in something well, that Well, let me launch Microsoft Word, all right? Here's the Word application. Now, this isn't the Word that you use on your desktop. This is Android Microsoft Word, but it's DeX aware and see, it's already optimizing. Oh, I'm gonna have to log yeah, into my skip. Microsoft account. You can skip. Uh, I thought I'd already done that. Yeah, can yeah, I skip that little... and just use it? Just do sure. a trial version of this. Uh, it goes full screen, so that's kind of neat. I mean, that's you know, and for full screen on this, in this case, means like a full screen uh, desktop. Yeah, um, that I looks can, pretty darn good. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Let me let me open. A, I don't know if you, I can even open. No, I got to <laughs> sign in to do anything. I <laughs> thought I'd done that the last time we used it, but I guess uh, either I didn't or it's forgotten my sign in. Now there are applications. New York Times is also Dex aware, so you're going to get a desktop version of the newspaper that expands to fill it. Yeah, and, looks uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean. I'm looking at a desktop computer. You can get a 27-inch monitor, real keyboard, real mouse. But there are also applications that are not... This is micro, uh, a Samsung's own browser, the Internet. So, yeah, and Samsung's own browser, one of the benefits that you get out of this is that if you're using this browser, uh, it automatically defaults when you're running DEC to get the desktop version of the websites right. and stuff. So, I mean, you you know, it's, it's the same as if you had a desktop computer, right? It's, like it's You're not going to get a scaled-up mobile version. You're right. going to get the full desktop and, and you get full windowing. So, I, you know, if I open another app, it's going to uh, be in a window of its own, and I'm going to be able to float it around. Yep. But notice this app. This is... This is a, a Android app that really isn't DeX aware, and so it's opened as if it were on an Android screen, right? And I can, uh, let's see if I can maximize it. Yeah, You might be able to, yeah. But see, big big not, improvement, right? It's just, yeah. it's just using the same amount of real estate on a big white uh, screen. And so there are most apps, in fact, are not DeX aware. So you're going to run into a lot of apps 
that aren't going to take advantage of that extra space. And that's where, you know, where you're going to start to see either Samsung's plan uh, working for them, which is that if they can prove that there's enough reason for developers to actually go through the, the work to do the heavy lifting to make right. this optimized for DeX, then they will. I'm guessing, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how much of a demanded, uh, you know, in-demand device this would be for developers to decide uh, it's worth their time. I guess that's our question mark. It's a, it's a chicken and egg thing, isn't yeah. it? Because uh, on the one hand, I, I kind of like this idea, but, but I don't know if I would, I mean, is it better to carry this and your phone plus a keyboard and a mouse and hope you can find a monitor wherever you land or just take a laptop with you? I'm not sure that this is a big improvement over that. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's my personal um, kind of problem with this particular type of technology is it, it's mobile. Like, like one of the things that, you know, I heard a few times is that this is for the, you know, the, the road warrior to take with them so that any place they go, they have their desktop right. computer with them. So on one hand, it's mobile, but on another hand, it's very much not at all mobile because it requires all of these other things right. to bring with you too. A keyboard, a mouse, have some sort of a screen to plug into. I guess if you're going somewhere that has that happens to have a screen, mouse, and keyboard hang out there and it needs a computer to Maybe, be brought in, yeah. then that works. But how, I mean, when does that ever happen? If you had a satellite office. Yeah. I've launched my mail app uh, and it's not DEX aware at all, which means I'm using it, I mean, this is no better than using it yeah. on, a, on a smartphone. Uh, on the other hand, if you want to use Samsung's email app, of you'll, course, you'll get the full it's going to give you the full experience. But yeah. uh, I don't normally use the Samsung app, so this is another way to, to get the Samsung app. So let's see what the Gmail app does. Yeah, the Gmail app sort of adapts. Mm -hmm. I guess that's because Google has adapted it for tablets. So anything that's tablet uh, compatible will probably work. Yeah, maybe so. Yes, yeah, so I would imagine. Because it's like a, it's, that's case. what it is, kind of like. Yeah. We have a couple of other minor pet peeves. It doesn't use the screen of the phone when it's busy being Dex, which is weird because I feel like that's an opportunity lost. Well, especially because this is an AMOLED screen, uh, and just based on the technology of the screen, you're only using power if a pixel is lit up. And, and I mean, even beyond that, you're powering the deck so it's charging it while it's plugged in. Right. At least put like a little bit a of clock. messaging here that messaging. says a clock or something Anything. like connected to deck. You're on that way decks. You know something's happening. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a little uh, also. It, look at all the wires. Yeah. This is this is, this is not exactly an it's, elegant. Solution. It's elegant if nothing's plugged into it, but something needs <laughs> yeah. to be plugged into yeah. it in order to do it, and so maybe it's not. 149 dollars. I like the idea, and I think Samsung's ex execution is actually very good on this. It's better than the Motorola Atrix. Yeah. I would well, argue I've, it's I've, as good as Windows Continuum. I've seen a lot of people say that it's actually for what it is for the, the for the you know piece of the technology market that it's attempting to fill. It's better than Continuum. Uh, it's just I, I just don't know how many people you know a are going to get this because they need it, and b how many of the Samsung S8 you know uh, purchasers are going to go well i'm i'm down to drop another 150 dollars for this thing because i have a perfect place in my life for oh, it. only leo you can <laughs> you do get right click because uh, it is you know it's like a desktop so i can arrange i yeah. can get wallpapers for my decks and all of that so I mean, you know, that's kind of look. They, let's, what, let's. One thing I did notice, I ran, uh, I, I did uh, this week in Google two weeks ago. Yes, when, from when this. you were out. Yeah, I did the entire show using Dex. Yeah. And one of the examples of where things just aren't quite working 100% is when I'm in a Google Doc, I put a lot of notes. I embed a note into cells, into spreadsheets. And on a normal desktop, I can hover over that with my mouse. The note appears, and I can read through it. Um, it even happens on my Chromebook. Uh, but doesn't with this, this, yeah, it just doesn't work. I'd hover. The only way for me to see it was to right-click it and edit note. So pull up the edit capability to see what's in there. Also, so little things like that. That's kind of the problem with this, is you're relying on Samsung to give you that functionality and third-party developers yeah. to support it. And that doesn't, in the long run, seem like that's going to be a very good thing. That was kind of my fear when I heard about it. It's like, you know, yeah. uh, Mac, uh, Windows, the, the companies that are bringing you this, those desktop experiences have literally years upon years of experience of doing that and, and checking the boxes and, right. and all that experience built up. Samsung's just getting into it. Of course there's going to be uh, speed bumps along the way. You know? When you're done, you undock your phone and the desktop goes down and your phone is is uh, still saying Hopefully. Samsung Dex, but it'll come back in a bit. It takes a little bit. I use a third-party launcher. All my icons were really tiny after I did this. Is it but Samsung's now? understands it and, uh, and, and restores and it. And now you're back. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's kind of neat. I mean, look, this is, you, you know, see if you trust Knox, Samsung's security platform to secure folders, yeah. maybe you're thinking, I'm not going to leave my data anywhere behind me. I'm going to have it with me at Someone all times. Someone wants to carry it with them yeah. everywhere they go. Yeah, if and, and another spy, thing I liked about that is if you're using Iris Unlock, uh, and, and you have it plugged in this. here. Yes, yeah. the first time I used it, the little light shone, and then, boop, it let me in. I didn't cool? have to do a single thing. It recognized my iris and let me in. So that's kind of so, Jason, how I think we're going to say maybe a do not buy for... I think you got to know exactly why you want this. If, if you're going to buy this, you know why, yes. and maybe then. But I, for the general per, you know, purpose, someone out there that's kind of thinking about their next technology purchase, you, you got to have a reason to have this, yeah. and you know it if you do. Yeah. I, I always want to encourage companies to do innovative, interesting things yeah, like this. But sure. at the same time, I don't want to encourage you to waste your also, time. Also, doesn't this look like a wireless charging pod? Yeah, it feels and like it should so, be. Maybe iteration two, make that top a little wireless charging. Nothing's <laughs> happening. Nothing is happening. No. Nope. Nope.